Welcome back to Bites of Pie. Today's Kickstarter 6K will go over a shopping cart using the ArrayList class. Now, if you remember back to uh, Lab 6E, we created a shopping cart almost exactly like this, but we used regular arrays, regular Java arrays that don't move. The cool thing is, is we're going to be using the ArrayList today. And the best part about this is, is you can use it just like an array. You're going to need to use functions to get to those values, but it dynamically increases. You don't have to worry about keeping track of how big the array gets and if you've gone past the array. This function will automatically extend out your array. So today's lab will be very short. Um, we have the item 6K, which is already built out for you. And it's very similar to the item that we used in the past. And we're going to create a shopping, a run shop 6K, but we're going to use the array list. So let's start with a, we're going to fill in the run shop 6K class. So we're going to create a cart right here. Just declare an, a variable cart to be an empty array list. So I'm going to create a list of item 6K. So we're going to put item 6Ks in the called cart. So the variable's name is cart, and we're going to create it as a new, oops, new array list item 6K. Open and close. All right. So notice that we need to import these two items here. It's highlighting it here in, in Eclipse. Now, if I hold Control Shift O, it'll automatically include those. It'll automatically include those items in the import, and we'll see what it created up here. So, notice it automatically added these two imports at the top of your list. So here I have. I've created a new cart of item 6K values. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add an item to the cart every time I go through the loop. And note, first off, I can do this all in one statement. So in my cart, I have a function called cart. I have a function now called add, and where I add a new item 6K. So here, I'm going to also create a new item 6K object. And I need to pass it the values. Now, if I remember the constructor, I have I have to pass it the name of the item, the price, and how much I'm purchasing. So I've scanned in the item name, item price, and the quantity. OK, so I've created a new item, whatever it is, and I'm adding it to the shopping cart. So I've finished this item right section right here. Second thing we'll be doing is we're going to be looping through and printing out each item and summing up the the total price and then we're going to print out the, the cart so right here is where we'll want to do that values so we'll have something like for item 6k item in my list in my cart and now I'm going to do something here's where I'm going to let you loop through the cart and print the item and add up the total the um, total amounts. All right, item new in the cart. I'm going to let you take this and run with it. At the end of your program, you'll want to verify that your output looks something like the output below. Entering in plush dog 350, it totals them up and prints out the cart. That concludes the video for 6K. Thanks for watching. <laughs>